Welcome to Dental Nachos TV. You may have a good question. What is Dental Nachos TV? My name is Paul, Dr. Nacho, and I'm going to tell you. It is a TV channel, a show, a way for dentists to connect, to learn more about what is going on in their industry. It's also for people that work with dentists. It's also for people that know dentists, live with dentists, want dentists to be happier, or even just for people who like chewing, which is all of us. On Dental Nachos TV, we feature ways to improve your dentist in core. What is your dentist in core? Let me explain. Here is a dentist. We'll call this dentist UDDS. And oftentimes it is easy to cry on the inside part of your body being a dentist. What would make you do that, you ask? A few things. Your team fighting over who took the last box of lidocaine. They're an amazing team, but they do an amazing job about fighting over who took the last box of something. Your patient won't open. Sometimes you say to a patient, could you open? And they go like this and you say, you must not know how words work. But instead you say things like, open like an alligator, please, to a 53 year old on a crown prep on number 15. What else might happen? The ring thing on for your class two flies off the tooth and hits the floor and you hear ping, pa ping, ping, ping. One of the worst signs sound in a dental office. Finally, insurance adjustments. So there's so many things that cause us to be annoyed. This is me. I like to say outside the circle of annoyance. So if you want to learn how we can help you improve your dentist and core, your mind, your words, your hands, so you cry less on the inside and enjoy what you do more, just reach out to us at dentalnachos.com. Or you can text the word salsa to 215-543-6454. And a member of our team will get back to you about how we can help. You also can email salsa at dentalnachos.com. I want to create a place where dentists can feel better about what they do, a place where dentists can increase their success and decrease their stress. I look forward to getting to know you, helping you, and I hope you enjoy this episode of Dental Nachos TV. Now, before we go, one last thing. I know my dentist people, you love free things. So if you're watching this show live and you text in your name, your mailing address, and t-shirt size to 215-543-6454, if you text in your name, your mailing address, and t-shirt size to 215-543-6454, we will send you back a nacho prize. It might be a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing. It might be some other nacho swag, but you can use it in your office. These t-shirts. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Business and Leadership Toppings volume six it's going to be just like the rockies we have so many volumes of this we're going to learn so many things about how you can improve your dentist and core but before we get started whether you are a sponsor whether you're a key resource a dentist human a dental student work with me at dental nachos best job ever they say it is all about how we make people feel always about the impact and i had an amazing opportunity just a few weeks ago to interview one of my patients i saw when i was 31 years old 12 years ago Ask him why he trusted a 31-year-old dentist to redo his entire mouth, the impact it had on him, how it made him feel. And this is what we all contribute to, whether you're the dentist doing the work, whether you're an advisor making sure dentists get to retire, whether you're a center that helps dentists get in for appointments, whatever you do to help people keep up the momentum creates this impact. So I want to take a few minutes and share this story because this is what the core is all about, your mind, your words, your hands, the decisions you make the words you say, what you get to do, but most of all, your heart. So we get to do some cool things as dentists and humans. This is one of them. We're going to watch this video and then get started with our show. Hey, dentist friends, it's Paul, Dr. Nacho. I'm here with one of my favorite patients and people that I've ever met in my entire life. We're going to share a fun story of taking Rick from getting his teeth replaced years ago to where he is today we're going to ask him some questions about the process so first rick appreciate you being part of this video helping dentists learn sharing stories uh what tell us back in 2008 you came to this office how did you get here well i did a google search right and uh i thought my teeth are getting so bad i don't want to be like my 80 year old relatives that are going to the dentist every other week right. to have something repaired and fixed I just want to be done with it, have a nice smile, and you were the one. Well, I appreciate that. And I still remember we had a great uh, marketing system then, I see the power of the internet, where we would uh, record calls so we could learn from them. I remember hearing your call and saying, hey, I hope you guys can help me. I've checked you out online. So when you came in and you see 
31 year old me, now I'm 43 years old, what were some of the things I did to make you feel like you could trust me, move forward? Because I was only 31 years old at the time. Did you know, think I was too young, you know? Oh, I was so happy that you were young because I figured, well, even when I'm really old, you're gonna oh, like still that. be around. Yeah. And, uh, and you were so enthusiastic about the whole case and, you know, what we wanted to accomplish and, and you got what I wanted to do. Thanks, and what I like to share with my dental audience here is that you can make things fun. And instead of talking in dental school terms, like things have failed, you could say, hey, it's time for your teeth to retire and <laughs> replace them. So we, back then, removed these teeth, preserved the bone, you were part of our team, you even got a chance to have some work done with my dad, with our right. awesome periodontist. We have a great lab that did this. Now this is back in, we finished this case in 2012. Removed your teeth. Put in, put in, screw in all the time. Screw in, stay in all the time. Teeth. Patients don't care about dental terms at all, they care about how it impacts them. So we talk about snap in and out teeth, you can clean under the sink, or stay in all the time, screw in teeth. How's been your experience with having these screw in teeth? I forget that they're not the ones I was born with, except they feel better and they look way better. That's awesome, right? And I would imagine, because you're just uh, such a you know awesome person and you're outgoing, do people think these are just your regular teeth? I don't think anybody thinks anything different you get unless compliments I tell on them. These teeth, right? I do. Now, a couple things. So I know my dental people. Uh, we're an interesting people. Dental school teaches us to be an interesting way. So we've replaced regular teeth, natural teeth, with implant-supported teeth, traditionally called fixed hybrids. We did this in 2012. So we use different materials now. Uh, but we have acrylic over a bar, which has been great. But one of the cool things about you that I don't have, and this awesome person taking the video have, you get what, uh, Rick? What do you have in, at home? You oh, know, an board. extra set. Oh yeah, an extra set. So we've made Rick, an extra set of teeth. I don't have an extra set of teeth. Yeah. So if anything ever happens, always be planning ahead, dentist. If a tooth needs to be repaired, if acrylic fractures off, if there's a challenge, you have a whole extra set, which you made at that time. Uh, does that make you feel more confident and secure? Oh, without a doubt, except I forget that they're not mine, so yeah. I don't even think, oh yeah, there's an extra yeah. set. So that's but it. it is good when you point out that I <laughs> that I do have one. In a post. Now, some of my dental people, I've done cases like this for years. We're going to do fixed implants, removable implants, stay all the time. One of the things I want to give Rick so much credit for is he has a super nice car which he takes care of, and you take care of these two. So now talk to the patients for a minute. If someone was thinking, I'm not sure if I want to do a case like this, or is it worth the time and money? Tell us, is it worth the time and money? And also, how do you take care of it? Afterwards? Oh, it's definitely worth the time and money. It's the best thing I ever did. Awesome. And really, I just brush them with an electric toothbrush, and then water, use a water pick, Perfect. and floss under them every day. You know when there's something under it. You can kind of feel it yeah. under there, and it just doesn't feel so clean. So you get that water pick out and it's gone. And, and, and that's such a great way to put it. So you, yeah. you know, power wash it. You come in here and have our hygienist take right. care of it. I'm gonna have my awesome video person show your x-ray. If you just show this x-ray for the video Those here. Crazy x-ray. Yeah, so, so we have uh, multiple implants. We have an extra bone saving implant. I know what you're thinking, Dennis. Why is there an extra implant? You're also saying, why is this tooth up here? Because I know you're Dennis. That tooth is just sleeping. Maybe one day we'll need to remove it. Right now it's sleeping. It's not bothering anyone, but this is an example of implants that were placed over 10 years ago, restored with a fixed hybrid acrylic titanium bar from one of our awesome lab resources. We want to meet our lab resource you can. So you can come back to us for the end of this video. Thanks to Nelson the Agri. So uh, before we wrap up, uh, uh, Rick, tell me, when you come, walked in this room, you said you spent a lot of time in this room. Back yeah, in I day. did. But now I you did. just come like twice a year, three times a year. Yeah. Um, so and it's, it's easy. You, right, you set yourself up for success. You just represent everything that's good about dentistry, everything that's good about people. I don't know if you know this about our job. Um, sometimes it can be fairly frustrating. And I know <laughs> people don't want to be here. We're doing full contact arts and crafts. So my message to you is take videos just like this. Get your HIPAA consent form. Get the patient to share their story because you can share patient stories to do three things. One, help other patients who are in analysis paralysis stage to move forward. Two, teach other dentists. And three, have more fun with your team, your you, yourself. Increase profitability, increase production, and do the things why we went to dental school to help people just like Rick. So thanks so much for being part of this well, video. Thank you for giving me my smile back and 
they feel great. I'm so happy I did it. So before we wrap up, this has been such a great day. You're a big part of my day. I'm just going to tell my awesome off now. I'm leaving now because it's only gone well, right? So now we're not seeing any more patients. No bands flying across the room. Nobody complaining. I'm done. It's like I'm leaving uh, the day. And if you need any help from us, just reach out to us at dentalnachos.com. If you want a free on-demand course that talks about these cases, for you to share with your team, to watch yourself, get to have for life, just text IMPLANTS to 215-543-6454. We will send you one of our signature courses, The Life-Changing Impact of Dental Implants, which also goes over how you talk to the patient about the financial part. The person taking this video for me does that for us at the office. It's a team approach, patients, team, and you, so you can make the story the star in your life. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're ready to start our awesome fun show. What this is, is for you guys to strengthen your dentist and core, make better decisions in your dental life. My first guest is one of my favorite people in dentisting. We can bring up Vanessa from Local Med and we'll learn what they do to help dentists. Hey, Vanessa, how's it going? Good, how are you? Awesome. Now, share with us, I always like to say, you know, we, we, you and I have been together at conferences, small ones, big ones. People walk up and down the aisles looking to say to this company, this person, what do you do to help dentists? Just orient, even though Local Med is a super popular topping in this group, we have new people joining every day. Tell us what does Local Med do and how do you guys help dentists? Yeah, so we have created the first online scheduling solution that actually integrates into your practice management system and actually works as a scheduler, not just a request system that a lot of people have currently on their websites. Uh, so it leaves you still in full control of your scheduling rules and everything for your practice. So this isn't a free for all for patients to book. It leaves you in full control, but makes it very convenient for patients to actually be able to book with your practice. And, and you remember when we met in 2018 at Dental Success, and I said, we have got to use this in our practice immediately. I have two practices, booking hygiene, booking points. We utilize it mainly for hygiene and emergency visits. I know other people use it for other things, sometimes consults. But what I find is as dentists, sometimes our morale, we really do feel like uh, crying inside, uh, Vanessa. And one of the things I like about local med is you realize people are thinking about you at all hours of the night. You know, someone's making a cleaning appointment at 2 a.m. So over this journey, I talk about the impact. We just watched that video of my patient who's had his life change. What's been the impact local med has had on practice, whether it's with their happiness, their revenue, less stress. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So you're not only making it convenient for patients to come into your practice. And let's be honest, patients aren't excited to go to the dentist. <laughs> so let's remove any possible excuses or barriers that they may have. Oh, the practice is closed. I'll have to call in tomorrow. Right. And, then forget. and then, you know, so remove any of those extra barriers that it is for them to come into your practice. So that has been a game changer for some offices. Paul, I know all the time you're sharing when people are booking at like two in the morning. Yeah. So think that a patient was thinking about you at two in the morning, but they are. <laughs> and also the other thing is things that don't show up on the stat sheet is how it makes your team feel in you. So when someone calls in for an appointment and they may be awesome people and they're trying to schedule a family to say, Jennifer has Pilates, virtual Pilates at four. This, and you know what? Sometimes they never make the appointment. They just call up 17 minutes of time of our team on the phone. Now you just give them the power to do this and they don't argue with their own decisions. Great management tip. I find, you know, some of our dentist people, um, they're not the most positive. So they'll say, what happens? Do people cancel a lot, Vanessa? I know what I say. I find in my experience that the ones who, who change through local med rebook through local med. So what happens is the other people, they just say, I'm not coming in, phone, hang up, I'll call back later. So even when people change, have you found that as well uh, with your other clients? Yes, no, most definitely. But the thing is too, Paul, is that they're actually booking, booking the time that works best for them right. because they can sit there with their ply schedule sure. and all the other yes. things that are going on, compare it with your calendar versus, and I know this from personal experiences, I called into my eye doctor to make an appointment. I was like, I'll just call my way home because they're going to close in 20 minutes. And I called them and they started, I, I kind of forgot what that process was like. Yeah. I was like. Well, how about this day? Well, how about this time? Yeah. And I was like in the car driving on the highway and I was like, oh my God, I don't have a calendar in front of right. me. I can see. The whole and life I, is this, you're, this is everyone's best friend, your mouse it's your, or your phone, you're scrolling your phone. So you got to look at that calendar and say 17, 2 p.m. and just 
like you said, remove the friction, get people to book. We're going to talk for another minute or two, but I just want to say you guys have been awesome. Nacho key resource sponsor. We made it as easy as possible. Pick up your best friend, text local to five, five, four, four, four. You'll get Nacho TLC. You'll get a great demo. Find out about this. One of the things I live for Vanessa is to get people to move forward with good ideas. And also to kindly say, I told you so one of my favorite things because a new practice owner at the greater New York meeting two years ago, I said, you got to use local med. And he walked up to me and said, Sheepishly, I was like, I, I would just want to let you know this was the best thing I did for my practice. I said, hold on. And I took a video of him and I said, what did you say? Because he goes, when one appointment opens, this gets booked. And now what I want to shift to for a second is tell us a little bit about the impact the pandemic has had on hygiene and how local med, we have dental intelligence coming up next, can help people solve that problem. Yeah, so um, as you are fully aware and many other practices are seeing, there are gaps in the schedule, especially for hygiene because of COVID with practices being closed for a couple of weeks, couple of months, depending on where you're located back in the spring. Uh, so before local med was very much uh, helping practices acquire new patients, yeah. but now it has a whole other use to it where, um, and actually Paul, I was looking at your staff before I hopped on here, about 50% of your patients now are returning patients, not just new patients. Yeah. Where pre-COVID, it was about 80% new patients, 20% returning that we had with our clients. So there's a big shift in there to where you're able to now utilize local med in all your recalls and reminders. We have the patient finder through dental intelligence, which Braden will be chatting about as well. Uh, that really makes it easy and seamless to get those patients that are already patients of yours. They already like you. Right. Again, back in the office and get those hygiene appointments. You just got to keep get them to keep up the momentum. You know, I said this yesterday. This is a drug you guys can use, and it's true. You know, people will come into the dental chair, which is full contact arts and crafts, and go, "Is this going to take a while? I have to leave soon." And I say, "I could just do a bad job. Is that work?" And then they say, "No." I go, "You would never say that to your hairdresser. You would leave your kid at daycare and be like, someone will pick them up. Don't rush my highlights." And to me, I think it's just a fun and funny part of us embracing that we're a a need, not a want thing, but people need us. So anything when you're in need, new furnace, get your teeth cleaned at this, remove as many barriers as possible and get people to keep up that momentum. And you get to do all the things I like, patient-centered care, increase production and decrease your team annoyance. I mean, you're dentist, you're not the one sitting on the phone trying to figure out how to make a schedule for how to get people into your schedule, let them book online. So before we jump off, uh, Vanessa, I is, is there anything else you'd like to add about local med? Any stories, anything coming up at the end of the year, any special, share with us that. Yeah, well, I do have my plate. Oh, I like that. I'm jealous. I only have, I only have my, is that Chipotle? I, uh, actually, it's Taco Bell. Taco Bell's got nice. pretty sweet. I like that. That is a nice. Yeah, I just, I just have our store-bought one. So I usually get some Chipotle ones. So I'm jealous, yeah. Vanessa. I like that. Yeah, no, it, it's actually pretty good. So check out Taco yeah, Bell. That's a solid, and that, that, that fits with the... <laughs> Add toppings to your practice to decrease yes. annoyance. And local yes. men has been that for us. We use it daily. I'm amazed. It's a, I'm walking around Philadelphia on the weekend. And it's Sunday. I see people book for hygiene patients. For, it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel good as a business owner. People want to come in. Well, I don't know if you know this, but I, I looked at your stats before hopping on here. And in the last three months, so if you're looking at August, September, October, you have booked 164 appointments. Oh, that's awesome. You deserve a virtual hug. That's the only hugs we can give now, virtual hugs. I appreciate exactly. it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. so we want to give something special, a Black Friday special um, that will be between now and November 25th to so anyone that's listening, to any Dental Natural followers. And that way, hopefully you too can be as successful as you, Paul, <laughs> with yeah. online scheduling. So um, we'll include links and below and some details, but basically any new clients who get signed up, we're offering 70% off the setup. So oh, that's awesome. Meetings, take advantage of it and get up and running. So 20. I love that deal. Keep up the momentum by saving 70% off the setup. You will not regret it. It's going to become a team member that I joke that works 24 seven, doesn't complain. And every other team member likes local med as a team member because they work all the time. They do the jobs you don't want to do. I love that. You can text local to 55444. We'll include the links there. Make whether you're a new practice owner, medium age pra dentist practice owner like me, a seasoned age dentist, utilize local med to make your office increase revenue, increase your patient centered care, and have more fun. Can't wait till you guys come back out in person, Vanessa, with Ghost. Uh, we have to get some in person C going, hopefully in 2021. Oh, for sure, for sure. And some nachos in person. Yes, definitely at Alves. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. I appreciate it. Thank you. So the goal of business and leadership toppings, whether you're watching live or you're watching on a uh, 
on demand is for you to keep up the momentum. Text local to 55444. JFO, just find out what we have for you. And you will be glad you did something like that, just like us. So I'm ready for our next guest here on business and leadership toppings, uh, Amanda. So we have the one plus one equals extra happiness with local with local med and dental intelligence. Braden, Braden, share with us what you guys do to help dentists and make their lives more productive and less stressful. Hey, what's up, Dr. Nacho? It's so good to be here with you guys. So a lot of what Vanessa said about local med and that dental intelligence, we actually are, uh, we, we're teamed up with local med, we own local med. And so we've actually integrated local meds, incredible software to allow patients to schedule online with the power of dental intel and all of the data that we have inside of your practice management software, we've merged the two platforms together. And so what we've seen is we can allow practices to go get an entire list of patients that are due for hygiene, that, that have Delta insurance, that never miss their appointments, that pay their bills on time and are between the age of 25 and 15. Great. And, in, and in a click of a button, we can go text all of them, prompting them that they're due for hygiene. And with the click of a button, they can schedule online using that online scheduling. And I want to pause you because we've used, and I just call it this, I mean, you can text Intel to 215-543-645 or text Intel to 215-543-645. So about a month or so ago, when Vanessa had helped us, we used what I call to Kate, I say, do the local med and dental intel thing, right? And she made it so patients could only book November, only book December. Ariel, who's in studio here with me, my brother came by. Ariel also works in our dental office and said, we need you for extra days because our next hygiene opening is not until mid-January due to this. So we sent this out, the local med dental intel thing, and we got like 14 appointments booked in one afternoon. So tell our audience in four-year-old version, like I like being taught, explain to me like I'm a four-year-old, what is this local med dental intel thing that people can use to book their appointments like that? Yeah, great. And I love what you said. So obviously we had this big fall hygiene crisis where a lot of practices, hygiene schedules were empty. And as you and I know very well, the front office team simply does not have enough hours in the day to call enough patients right. to get all of that. So with dental intel and local med, the simplest way I can put it is you can go create a list of patients anywhere from 15 to 200 patients that you can text and email, letting them know that they're due for their hygiene appointment and that they can book online. And when they click on that link, they're gonna be able to view every available opening inside of your schedule for your hygiene chairs, pick one that works for them and get it booked. And the best part is the front office team doesn't have to make a single phone call. And, and as a medium age dentist who's been doing this for a while, I wanna share some patient insights. So when people do get the momentum, the schedule of appointment with, for a cleaning, Sometimes if you can't get them in in a week, they say, ah, I'm not coming. I'll call back. I said, well, you missed the last three years. Does it really matter three weeks? But it's how the brain works. So when we can allow them to only book, let's say in December, in January, it's so great because we put them into a, a category that works for everybody well. So it's not about, can I get in next week? It's saying, hey, so now we can start booking January and February. I mean, I just think that's such a powerful tool. And what I'm sharing with dentists is like, we didn't have these things when I started out in practice ownership. And now we have these things to make your front desk life easier, to get the patients in who want to see you. Um, what does Dental Intel have coming up here at the end of the year, Braden, or anything that you guys have that you want to share with our audience to get them to move forward and just find out more? Yeah, great question. So the biggest thing that we do every single year, and now is the perfect time here in November and December, is we do a year in review growth report. What that allows you to do is we'll go sync with your practice management software, pull all of the data for, from the last 12 months and provide a growth report to help you find out exactly how the year went for you. What opportunities did you perform well on and what opportunities did we miss? So that as we go back into 2021, we're aware of what opportunities we have sitting inside of the practice so we can go take advantage of them. So awesome. I recommend everyone go get this end of year report, go review 2020 so that we can go make up for the crazy year that it's been in 2021 and make it our best year ever. I love, love it. It's just, we make a treatment plan for patients, make a treatment plan for your practice to Perfect. be successful, you know, produce more debt. This is where I get everybody in dentistry, really probably anybody with their job, but especially dentists. Uh, would you like to have more fun and be happier at your job? That, that sounds like me. I'm keeping my hands up. Would you like to make more money? Also sounds like me. Would you like to work more hours? Hand down, right? And so if you're a dentist that wants to be more productive in the hours that you are, because dental hours are like dog ear hours, until you sat, until you sit, six inches away from someone doing full contact arts and crafts, you don't know how intense that experience is. So we all want to be more productive, more successful without working more hours and dental intel can help. So thanks so much, 
praying for being part of what we do. Text Intel to 215-543-6454. You're an awesome key resource and sponsor. See you guys. Bye. Awesome. So a great start to the show already. The goal of this is for you to keep up the momentum and add things to your practice that will be helpful to the end of the year and 2021. Now, what about your long-term self? What about yourself that starts out in dental school, first job, first practice, second practice, and eventually becoming a rad, a retired age dentist? So our next guest here is going to help us be successful rad, successful retired age dentist. So I'll welcome our next guest on here uh, from uh, City Best, Alan Donenfeld. Alan, thanks for joining us again on business and leadership toppings. Share with our group what you got do to help dentists uh, become rad. So hopefully uh, all of your uh, dental nacho um, community are uh, working towards building up, uh, oh great, Tech City. Uh, are, are building up a nest egg to um, to uh, do what I've mentioned to you, Paul, which is uh, enter the world of fire, financial independence, retire early. You don't have to. If you love dentistry, you can stay in it as long as you want. But uh, to the extent that you are diligent in saving money every year, build up a 401k or other IRA accounts, then uh, the question is, what do you invest in? How do you save for the long term? Uh, what's the best way to retire early with a, a nest egg of capital? And my company uh, seeks to help doctors do that, doctors and dentists do that. Uh, my brother is a anesthesiologist and I've been uh, working with him to find the, uh, the highest returning investments that are the safest. And they, they end up being in the same area that institutional investors invest, which is in private equity and specifically real estate private equity. And so my company, cityvest.com, uh, focuses on uh, working with dentists to help them invest in real estate private equity investments. I love that, Alan. You talk about your brother. I'm jealous of him. His patients are asleep all the time. Our patients are awake. Like, right. not yet. like, not yet. We just started. But I uh, you know, nobody teaches us this in dental school. You sometimes can go through your whole career saying, I'm working hard. What should I be doing next? To the credit of the financial planning industry, I think over since my dental career over the past 18 years, it's gotten more responsible, more value driven. I know that there's still challenges, but from when I started as an early dentist till now, I think your entire industry has improved. Uh, your nacho topping of using real estate, let's say someone just turns this on and says, you know what? I'm saving in my 401k, I'm maxing that out, but I want to do something else. I know I should be doing, should I put it in a random index fund? Should I do this? Explain to us a little bit about this specific topping with real estate. So um, th there's an interesting article in, in, uh, in Cranes this week, which is an interview with the chief investment officer of Blackstone. And he highlights what sectors are going to do well over uh, the next 10 years. So they obviously, Blackstone has over a hundred billion in assets under management. Uh, they're pretty good at, at projecting out where they should invest capital. And they specifically have called out private equity and real estate private equity. It's the, the one area that uh, investors through Tiger 21, which is an ultra high net worth investment club members with a $10 million or greater um, uh, portfolio uh, they typically allocate about 22% of their investments into real estate. And so if doctors review their own portfolio, they might find, wow, we only have 3% in real estate or maybe a couple of REITs. It's really not accept acceptable. The, the highest return and the lowest risk is in real estate. Don't be fooled by financial advisors telling you to get in and out of stocks. Bonds have very low yields. Real estate typically is targeting these days uh, in the mid-teen kind of returns per year, internal rates of return, which far exceed any other asset class. And that's what you can achieve if you're in the institutional uh, end of the real estate investment market. Love that. So you've explained to us, I mean, I always talk about awareness, attention, just find out momentum. So you're watching this, you're a dentist. I, I want to retire one day. I'm going to hang up the handpiece. I always think there should be some very specific ceremony for that, where a dentist gets to hang up the handpiece, they hand him a margarita and say, you're finished. But uh, you, they're going to get there. You're a medium age dentist. How do people work with you? What type of investments are they looking? Are they looking at putting in twenty-five dollars to $50,000? Do they contact you through your website? Tell me a little bit about the process 
for our audience so that they could reach out to you directly. And I just want to sure. start, start that. If you want to make it as easy, easy as possible, just text city to 55444 and we'll text you back exactly how to work with Allen City Best, one of our key resources and sponsor. But just walk the dentist through the process because dentists, they love detail. So tell us a little bit about the process. Absolutely. So there's a, a tr tremendous amount of learning material on our website, cityvest.com. Uh, there's a learn more button. You can read lots of articles about real estate or just give me a call. I'm happy to walk you through what institutional real estate investing is. This is not finding a syndication of a solo property. These are 50 to $200 million real estate private equity funds. And what we do is we create a feeder fund where we aggregate a lot of doctors and dentists into our entity so that we look like we're an institutional investor investing five to $10 million in that entity. And so not only do we gain access to that institutional end of the market, but we also get better investment terms with that aggregate of five to 10 million, which is in, uh, in excess of where the average institutional invest, which might be one or 2 million. So we gain access with better terms. We're finding the, the cream of the crop of institutional investment fund. All of them have previous audited returns with administrators. We have a third party due diligence report on our site about each fund that we, uh, we work with. So it's uh, hopefully as safe as it can be with the highest returns. I love it. Well, listen, I know my dentist people, they like to feel special for being part of a group like Dental Nachos. So they get free things like we're offering all free seed. Now, right. They get, they're part of a buying group. We have a buying group, they get special deals on supplies. So essentially just to put it in dentist terms, you get special treatment for being part of a group through you and get access to stuff that you would not be able to get access to as a solo investor. And I just think right. this is part of, what we want to do with dental nachos is to help you through the whole circle of dentisting life. And I'm sure as we, you know, as we're going to jump off in a second round, but I, I, I like positive stories, but I like realistic stories. Do you work with people who say they wish they did this earlier or they should have started earlier or they are unprepared for retiring? Has that come across your nacho plate? Everybody wishes they had started earlier. Uh, I will say there are two, I'm not sure what your terminology is, dental nacho toppings. Yeah. If, uh, if you do make an investment, uh, there's a section on the investment form that says who referred you. If you put in dental nachos, we waive the first year technology nice. and the uh, minimum investment, which is normally $50,000 is reduced to 25,000. If you come through dental nachos. That's awesome. And for $25,000 to invest in your future and keep doing that is great. So we'd love for you having you as a nacho friend and key resource, Alan. Thanks so much for being part of it. Thank you, Dr. Paul. Glad to be here. Awesome. So we've had three, three awesome uh, business and leadership toppings. Before we bring up our next guest, I'm going to have a special video radio ad for everyone. So we have our Job Connect program. To learn what we have available, text JOB to 215-543-6454. Text JOB to 215-543-6454. And we have positions right now in Elma, Washington, Elma Family Dental. One of their full-time associates is moving to the East Coast, a great why, replacing a dental associate, Elma Family Dental in Washington. Reach out to Dr. Catherine Siebert, KJKDMD at gmail.com or just text Washington Job to 215-543-6454. We have a position in Columbus, Ohio, a very busy practice near the Ohio State University, full-time position with Dr. David Folks, NortonFamilyDentalCare.com, david.folks, F-U-L-K-S at gmail.com, or just text Ohio position to 215-543-6454. Not too far from us in Philadelphia, in Maryland, we have a position uh, with Dr. Aaron Wolfson, Hamilton Family Dentistry, 32% of collections, so she can be full-time or part-time. Erin's an active member on the Dental Nachos Facebook group, super great attitude, looking to grow her practice. You can reach out to wolfsone at gmail.com or text Maryland Job to 215-543-6454. One of my great friends in this world and super awesome dentist, Dr. Matt Costa in Quarryville, PA, has a part-time position. He's an amazing dentist to learn from. Just text Quarryville or Quarry to 215-543-6454, or you can reach out to Dr. Matthew Costa at gmail.com. So that's four positions all over the country. We have over 53 open positions. To find out about our open positions, just text job to 215-543-6454 or email jobconnect at dentalnachos.com. And our final position is in Texas. 
uh, Colleen, Texas, a busy growing practice. You can reach out to Emily Kane, Emily K A I N, at expertdentalsolutions.com or text Texas Job to 215 543 6454. The more positions you know about, the better for you in getting a job. If you want to learn how to list one of your jobs on our Job Connect platform, Dennis Job Connect platform, just text Job to 215 543 6454 or email Job Connect at dentalnachos.com. Awesome. So our video ads are completed. Always want to be a radio ad guy. So now I'm a nacho ad guy. Uh, we'll bring up our next guest here on the show. Uh, man, I am ready for David from Call Force. So David, welcome to Business and Leadership Toppings. Before you share what you do to help dentists, uh, I will share again that booking your hygiene appointments is the lifeblood of a general practice and booking these appointments can be challenging. So if you could find someone to help you with this, Call Force does this and they also do other things as well. David, I'd like you to share what does Call Force do to help dentists not do this, not cry inside too often as a dentist, share with us what Call Force does. I think call force is okay. Think about all of those things that you hate to do in the front office of your practice. You hate to make recall phone calls. You hate to do insurance verification. You hate to do, uh, you hate to answer the phone when you're talking to a patient that's coming in and you're juggling six different things at once. We do all of that. Awesome. So all of those things that you hate, we do. Will you also come and explain to my patient, even though I told them their denture would stink without implants, it does stink without implants. If there's a service, could you add that in the, the complaint department? I wouldn't mind if you added that in as well. <laughs> yeah, well, we do. We, we also do schedule those overdue services. Yeah. Um, so if there is a patient that does fall through, then, then we do that. We consider ourselves a complete scheduling uh, start to finish solution. And um, to learn more about Call Force, you're going to text call at 215-543-6454. You have some great nacho deals. Corey, your founder is an awesome uh, nacho friend and sponsor. Now, David, a lot of times what I do is utilize different sponsors in our practice to make our lives better. I'd like to cry less inside. Okay. Don't I deserve that in my life? I think so. So recently I said to my amazing office manager, Kate, if Ariel can tag her, I'd love for her to hear the story. She knows she hears these a lot. I said, Kate, let's use Call Force. And she said, Paul, I don't think we use Call Force. I mean, we're already using local med. We've got 164 appointments with local med. They're awesome. I said, ah, Kate, let's just go for this call thing. We don't need call force. Kate, let's test it, not guess. That's my thing. Test, don't guess. Yada, yada, yada from my favorite show, Seinfeld. Kate said we scheduled 26 appointments through call force. And now she loves call force. So I can kindly tell her I told you so. But for those office managers who kind of say, ah, we don't need it, we do it. What are the things that you do to make their life better? And it's just complimentary. It's not competition, complimentary to what they're already doing. Yeah, so that's one of the things I love about call force is we work within a practice's own system. So if you're using texting or you're, we work within your patient management system right. um, where we will go in and actually schedule. Now the number one thing, we'll just talk about recall right now that we do differently than most practices is our team calls between the hours of five and 7.30 PM. Um, that's when people are home people are like three times more likely to answer the phone during those hours than when they're busy at work. Um, and so we see where most practices have like a 4% answer rate. We see that up in the, the 11, 12%. That's awesome. um, and as a result, they're able to uh, remove that barrier for scheduling. And that's and so our team. I want to share with you, Dave. I want to just someone who's a, been a dentist. And you can text call to 215-543-6454. You know, I've had team members that say, I'll stay later at 5 p.m. to 7 to make calls. I say, okay. But that's like me in the gym sometimes. I want to go to the gym later. Then it's 5 p.m. and I want to eat nachos. And I get it. They've had a long day. So one of the things in outsourcing your annoyance to call for, so that should be your motto, outsource your annoyance to us. <laughs> You're set up to do this. This is what your people are doing. So even if you have a team member who says, I'll stay late, I'll do this. A, they often don't want to do that after a day, even if they have good intentions, just like we all know when we say we're going to go to the gym at night, then we don't know. That happens to me and my one team member like every Monday. Um, secondly, you guys, there's something about it. And I, I mean, I just want to share this for a minute. I, I love talking about how to talk to patients about money. There's something about, you know, me talking about implants and then Kate coming in and talking about money. There's just something good about that. Not me being, now you guys do act like a Pennington dental team member, but I just feel 
there's some interesting authenticity and the patients, your success is better because that's all you're doing. You're not also the person at the front desk who's Sandy, who just saw him, one of the people before. So tell me about the practices and the impacts you've had besides us. What have they given you feedback on? I'm sure there's been some resistant dentists and now they love doing it. Tell us our audience why they'll be glad to move forward with it. Yeah, in fact, I was just talking with my hygienist uh, about a, three weeks ago. I had to go in for my my biannual cleaning and, and hygiene. And so I was talking to the, our dental hygienist and our the practice I go to uses call force. Um, and they said it was like a night and day difference that as they were coming into this October, November uh, hygiene gap that we're experiencing all over the country. They said, as soon as they turned on call force, then they saw appointments just magically appearing there. Yeah. And everybody at first, you know, there wasn't, there was some communication issues between the front office and they're like, how are these appointments getting in there? And then they drill down and go, Oh, these are all, these are all call force. Um, did we just release some company statistics uh, just this last, I think it was yesterday. Um, in October, we scheduled over 11,000 awesome. recall appointments, hygiene appointments for, for practices all across the country. And that's something, that's why we go back to this center thing. Like that's using your mind skills as a practice owner. They're not going to talk to you about dental school in this dental school. Lots of Krebs cycle, lots of memorizing stuff you can Google. Did I need to memorize the melting point of gold? I could have just Googled it, right? But this is the stuff that makes an impact. But what I'm always reverse engineering, whether it's with nachos or my office, it's always about the customer or client. And the impact you guys should feel so proud of is 11,000 people are now going to go get dental care. 11,000 people are now going to get their teeth checked. 11,000 people are going to be glad you kindly annoyed them to go see the hygienist and be like, did you have time to floss? Like, nope, but it was a pandemic for six months. Like, fine, I hate flossing, right? Maybe your hygienist said. So it's just <laughs> such a great piece of technology plus human service to add to. So, I mean, it's been an awesome topping to our practice. And now I think you see the other thing I want to point out, which jump off is, Team, we're down team members just because of the pandemic. Not everybody could come back. Not even, we couldn't hire them back. They're home with children. So this is a job that you definitely could utilize without having to use up your team time. As some of your dentists been happy that that's part of the case. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we see so many, especially when they are practices, there's just a single practice or, or you know maybe two, three, where they don't necessarily have, they don't want the overhead of hiring somebody I that's just going to be a scheduling coordinator. Um, that's, that's just too much for them. And so by outsourcing to us and all of our people, they're located here in the US, just here in Provo, Utah, where we are. Um, so that somebody who they can trust, who works within their system, who does everything just like their front office would do, um, but the front office doesn't have to worry about it. And, and I mean, David, you guys, you only pay when you book an appointment. And I mean, to us, it's like an eight, nine, 10 times the cost for you to book versus what the hygienist brings in. So it's truly, you know, I should have one of those things. I would like a, a, a true nacho brainer to do because you only pay when the appointment's booked. So I love what you guys do. Thanks for being a part of the show here today and a nacho key resource. Anything else you wanted to add before we jumped off? Yeah, we definitely, um, we are also running a, a deal. Oh, cool. Yeah, tell where us about that. You can, as a practice, you can get $200 in, in complimentary service. Uh, so $200 worth of appointments booked, basically. Nice. Um, and one other thing that, that I always like to point out, so I like people to, to try us out. We, we want no risk for trying us out. So you get $200 in, in free scheduling. There's no contracts. There's no setup fee. And so you literally can come on to us, use that $200 and then just leave. That's perfect. I love um, it. You know, our dentists, I mean, people, we hope they love the free and this is, this is a good way to get them because then you'll see that impact. So that, that's really a true notch. So you basically can get six, seven, eight appointments booked, try it out and then see if you want to continue with it. Yeah, exactly. How do they learn about that opportunity? I know we can connect them to anything through our text call to 215-543-6454. But if somebody was watching this, because this usually gets like 1 million views in one day. So get the phones ready. I'm, I'm just joking. We're not there yet. <laughs> but may, maybe 500,000. Uh, how could they learn if they're just watching this video uh, to reach out to you guys directly? Yeah, just go to info 
www.getcallforce.com slash nachos. And you'll see all of the information about this deal and also all of the other services that we offer and, and everything like that. Awesome. So awesome. that's info.getcallforce.com. I love what you guys are doing to turn the dental crying inside around like us. So thanks so much. We really appreciate you sharing with us. Yeah. Thank you so much, Paul. Awesome, David. Um, so another awesome opportunity to enhance your business. We have ways to do hygiene. We have been investing for you to become a rad retired age dentist. Now we're going to bring up the most dentisty thing, the thing you love. Get ready. I hope you're sitting down. You love loops. I have a dentist on. Now we're talking dentist to dentist. Uh, so we have the awesome Dr. Tina Saw. Dr. Tina, share with us what you have done to help dentists in the world of loops and lights. Yeah. So with loops and lights, I know like price point is huge. And, you know, right now we're spending so much money on our PPE and getting patients in um, with pandemic. Everything has really, really changed in terms of, you know, our spending. And we definitely want to make loops and lights extremely affordable. Not only that, we have something very unique where we're able to take um, pretty much have this universal adapter that will attach to even your face shield. So it's really easy. It just goes on right on your face shield right there. Anyway. I have to say, I, so, I did just get these. They were great. And I yeah. bought them as a backup set, but they're just as good as anyone. That was a yeah. very easy part to use. My team is here. I don't know how to explain this. I'm bad at stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Connecting this to my phone was a whole thing, right? So I have to say it was very easy to connect it because sometimes you get lights and you look at the box and I'm sure it's a great light, but it's very yeah. complicated to set up. So yeah. I do have to say that that setup was really easy. It was like four seconds. Yeah, exactly. So it tends to get really overwhelming because I know that with other loops and lights that are out there, you have to buy a special adapter or, you know, you get all these pieces and you're like, what do I do? And a lot of people will just give up. <laughs> so yeah, we make it super idiot proof. I mean, there's, it's so like making a decision to go with light solutions down on purchasing a wireless light is like a no brainer. So because I want to stop there, Dr. Tina. So people can text loops to 55444 to learn about the light. And so I want to, I got the light and the loops. You're an awesome key resource and sponsor. I appreciate my nacho deal on that. We have a nacho deal for the audience, but first you can purchase just the light. And how much is the light to purchase? Our, for our original wireless light is only $250. That's awesome. And it goes up to yeah. what's the highest amount? 350 if you want an extra battery. So 250 to 350 is an awesome deal to get a light to use that you can use, like you said, with loops, without loops, on a face shield, not a face shield. So do just doing that. Our team will share how you get the light. Now your loops, which I love, what magnifications do you make them in and what's the general price point for the loops? Yeah, so our magnifications are 2.5 or 3.5. Uh, magnification. Now our loops will start at only $6.95, which is a fraction of the price of what everyone else is selling. And I can tell you the quality is the same or if not better. We have tried so many loops. We worked with our manufacturer so diligently to make sure the clarity was there. Um, so I want to share yeah. something. So you get the the 350 light and the 7 of them is at 1050 with the nacho deal, you're going to pay less than a thousand dollars. But dentist, this is why I do what I do. Trying to prevent you from future annoyance, future cry inside. I had used designs for vision loops for a long time. I like them. Expanded field 3.5. I had a backup set of designs for vision loops. And I said to myself, I will never not be without my backup because if you lose a whole day of production, three, four, five, six thousand dollars, right? Tina, if you lose, if you can't yeah. work, you lose. So yeah. I want to share with you, it's very me. I lost my backup loops inside my own office. So if you know me, that's very me, right? I've lost them. So now I have yours as a second set. So maybe instead of saying backup, you just need a second set of loops because without them, you could not, you could miss a whole week of production. You could miss a, a day of production. So have you, I mean, have you found your customers clients using these for both a first set of loops, but also just an additional set to have? So I've actually had a lot of dentists that call me very fran frantically. They're like, I just broke my loops. You know, it's from another company they've had for years and years. I dropped it or whatever, and it just shattered. So they're like, can you overnight me something like right away? So we end up sending them some loops. We do make everything custom made. We get your measurements all right. 
But then once we send them the loops, they think that, okay, I'm going to order another set from my primary loop that I've been using. They end up falling in love with our loops and using them as the primary yeah, loops. I, I mean, I'm really easy going with, with a lot of this stuff in my dental office. You know, I can use any chair to sit on things like that, but like, you know, I've used different brands. I used them yesterday for the first day, just was streamlining mm -hmm. the light. I really love the light part where you could just like change the settings easily. So I love what you guys are doing. What, um, what is the best way for people to reach out to you? We have the text loops to 55444, but how else could people reach out and find out more about Light Solutions Dental? Yeah, you know, our website has all our information. If you go to lightsolutionsdental.com, our email is on there, our phone. We're always, it's either um, my husband or I or, or one of our assistants that's always answering the phone. You can message us on Facebook, on Instagram. We're pretty social. So let us know if you have any questions. You can Facebook me personally, um, Tina Saw um, on Facebook, a lot of, of Dental Nachos members have been doing that. So we're happy to answer any questions. We want to make sure that you guys get the right loop and light at the affordable price. I you. love it. True Nacho Brainer to get light and or loops, text loops to 55444. You're awesome, Tina. Thanks for being a great key resource and sponsor. Really appreciate you hanging with us today. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Tina. So look at this, guys. In business and leadership toppings, this is life. This is the game. You can't just say, we're just going to do clinical. We're just going to do business. We're just going to do words. It's all together. Talk about how to get your patients in, communicate with patients, how to save for retirement, a dentistry thing, and getting yourself a second set of loops, a second light. And now we're going to end our business and leadership toppings with one of my favorite things I've ever done in my dental practice, an in-house membership club. The in-house membership club has been the total game changer. One of the most annoying things that is I've been involved with in life, not a joke, inside the office, outside the office is dental insurance. Dental insurance at best is a coupon that doesn't pay for much. We are involved with dental insurance in our office, but using an in-house membership club is a great way to bond with your patients. I'm going to bring up my good friend, key resource and sponsor, Tom Camarota. Just want to share to learn about what Tom does. You can text club to 55444. Tom has been a regular on our program, a great person to close out this session. Tom, share with us what you do and some of the impact the dental stores have had on their customers, both in-house membership club and your online store. You might, I think you're muted still, Tom. Yes, yeah, no worries. People do that to me on purpose. I'm mute. Can, can you hear me? Can good. you hear me now? <laughs> hear you, sure. All right. So yeah. So thanks for having me. But yeah, so the, the dental memberships are, are fantastic options. So what we do as a company, we, we do three things. We help you offer your dental memberships. We help you offer products to patients. So products that you recommend every day. I know you had uh, right at the beginning of the show, you were talking to someone with implants. You recommended that they get a water pick and an electric toothbrush, right? So those type of things, you don't have to stock them in your office. You just have your online store and it's virtual inventory basically. Um, and then the third thing that we do is services. So we help you offer your services online. So let's say you're doing a whitening special or you're in office whitening or even just some consults that you want to charge for, um, even teledentistry, whatever it might be, we let you put that on your store as well. And basically click of a button, a uh, patient could join your membership plan, they could buy a product and they could they could get their in-office Zoom whitening all in, in just a click of a button right on your right on your website. So yeah. we kind of remove the friction from it. That's, that's also, really what you we know, do. My friend, I talk about our C being a friend of your phone, not just... So I had a local med on, you know, with their, how they schedule appointments. Also the dental stores, I like that because I see when people buy the membership club and order. And this week, I don't know if she's watching. I go, oh, someone ordered $25 worth of stuff. It was my own sister, Jill, ordering something for her family because it was just convenient for her to go there and get something she needed for a family member. So one, you've been on our podcast, Tom, and everyone should listen to Tom on the dentalamigos.com. You talk about escalation of commitment. We've talked about so many things that you do with in-house membership clubs and online stores, but remind us, because I just love that concept about what the escalation of commitment does with an online store membership club and how that helps you get your patients to bond with you. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. When you, when you actually look at the, at the data from, from the online store portion of it, let's just talk about that first. Uh, you know, memberships are a very easy thing to kind of kind of wrap your mind around because look, if someone's paying you several hundred dollars for the year, they're going to show up for both their appointments. You're going to give them discounts on your, on, on your services and they're going to get additional services. We've seen a three to one ratio basically of, of production uh, before they, um, before their members, uh, as opposed to when they're at, when they're actually members. So the three to one, 
in terms of how much treatment they're going to get because they want that treatment. They're able to get it at a discount. You're able to provide that treatment. It's a win-win-win all around. But the store concept is a little bit foreign for people. It's, it's kind of uh, people don't, you know, as a dentist, you're a clinician, right? You don't really kind of wrap your mind around it. But basically what happens is this. People are ordering a toothbrush, a toothpaste, a mouth rinse, right? You don't think any of it. Maybe it's $10. Maybe it's $50. Maybe it's even a $100 item. But what's happening is as they order those products, they're becoming more engaged with their own oral care preferences. They want to maintain that oral care and they see your brand more often, right? So every order is going to spawn maybe 12, 24 contact points of your brand with them. And so as they're making these small commitments of five or $10 or even $25, they're making a commitment towards your brand. And so what's ended up happening is that as it comes time for their appointment, they're going to be less likely to cancel. In fact, they're going to be more likely to want to keep that appointment and to schedule the appointment. And so what we've actually seen in the data was that recare rates um, for patients who were shopping at the store, ordering these small items, was above 80%, it was 83% recare rate. And if, if you talk to the guys over at Dental Intel, I'm sure they'll tell you all the statistics about it. But basically, if you have that, that means your business will grow. If you're at 60%, you know, you're going to be kind of, you know, treading water, right? Uh, enough yes. patients coming in, our patients going out. But when you're at that 83% recare rate, people are, are, are coming in more frequently for their recares. And they're doing that because they're ordering from the store. They're more in tune um, with their oral care needs. And they're making that small commitment, which escalates into larger I mean, commitments. I, I love all that. I mean, I've been doing this for 18 years. The beginning of the show, I talked about a case I did in 2008 where I did a pay-per-click campaign. That's how the person found us. I was always into testing new things. I was able to change that person's life, get a raving fan, produce dentistry. So it's the time to be ABC, always be creative. The in-house membership club plus your online store is another just total nacho brain. I mean, everything we've talked about, all our key resource sponsors do so many great things to help dentists. This show has just been a lineup of how you can just do one thing plus one thing plus one thing plus one thing and have such a great impact on your practice. Before we jump off, Tom, you know our dentist people. They ask questions about the question. They want to see a bite wing of the bite wing. They're always worried. So I know we've, you know, changed the mindset of certain people, to put it nicely, by referring to you. Just tell me about somebody who was like, didn't think this was going to work, thought it was going to be too expensive. Because I see them talk on dental nachos and say, it's been great with the dental stores. Has anybody come to mind like that for you? Yeah, there has been so many. But I I'll never forget the, the time that someone texted me. They said, you know, I'm... I'm never going to do the dental plan because, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, it's garbage. I don't want to do it. I don't feel like I already have people paying cash. Next thing you know, their, their buddy down the street does it, you know, same town, same region. They did it. They saw them take off to like a hundred members within three months, which is incredible. Next thing you know, they're texting me back. All right, I want to sign up for the membership plan. Now they have several membership plans. They even have an ortho club that people could sign up and they bundle products in there. So it's really, really cool. I've seen them go from, from zero to a hundred and in, in, in such a fast rate because we have these mechanisms for you to use inside your office to really accelerate that and scale your growth. So yeah, there's been so many instances of that. I can't even, I can't even tell you. I, I wish everybody would try it, even if you don't use software. Yeah. What you do there, Tom, is you screenshot the text, text club, and then when they get to 200 <laughs> members, you go, oh, hey, Bill, I just saw this on my phone randomly where you said you were never doing this. Do you remember this day? And they say, you kindly told me so. And that's life. It's getting people to make good decisions, having fun in the process. And everybody needs a little help, whether it's getting to the gym, doing a membership club, saving money. So thanks, Tom, for being awesome. We feel lucky to have you. We're going to get back to in-person C. I'll order some good food for in-person C. Uh, but for the time being, I love that we can connect virtually like this. Thanks, buddy. Nice Thanks for having me. Take care. So, man, if anyone's still here, they can pop back on. As we kind of wrap up here, I want to share with you of two cool things coming up. Tomorrow night, we have live CE on TV, live CE on TV on mini dental implants. Can mini dental implants make a major impact on your life? Text C to 215-543-6454. I've been doing bicep curls the whole show because Mark Costas is coming on Friday for his uh, how we can talk about the Krebs cycle of business and patient communication Text Krebs at 215-543-6454. So my little wrap up, when you're watching this two years from now, watch this now, there's people here on this screen that didn't know the other person existed before this show. And what I love, this is my whole ABC always be connecting. So I don't want to hear about your company because your company's already we know is great and your product is great. I want to know about you as a person and a business person. What's something you heard from someone else on this screen or could have been local med or dental intelligence that you just said, man, that's neat or I didn't know that existed or I could talk to my 
customer or client about it. Um, I'll start with you, David. Anything you heard on the show from anybody that you just said, hey, man, this really stood out to me? You know, the thing that <clears throat> stood out to me is how well all of these companies work together. You know, it's yeah. when you're talking about your patients and then working with them, you need to understand who they are through dental intelligence. You need to have that, the ability to schedule online. You need to have the, the savings plans and the, and the store. Um, so everything just kind of, kind of works well together. Um, probably stealing your words here, you know, get your nachos fully loaded. Um, yeah. That's always the best way. And I think what uh, I, you know, um, Alan comes into people's lives when they're rads, but he comes in earlier, all the things you do, you could say, you just save more money so you can be a rad sooner or whenever you want yep. to be a rad, right? You know, you make more exactly. money with call force, you save money on loops, you do an in-house membership club. It's kind of the whole reason to get to rad on your own terms. You know, dentists are unique people. I did a poll. You know what this poll was? Dentists, they, they answer questions. I said, when is the ideal age for you to retire? And they said, that depends, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, but I finally got them to say, Alan, 55 to 60, 60 to 64, 65 plus. But life is about annoyance on your own terms, right? Get to being able to make decisions later in your dental career. Because we're seeing during this pandemic, some dentists were sadly not close to prepared for this type of event to happen. And if they had planned earlier, they would have been more prepared. No one was prepared for a pandemic. It's been very challenging, right? But when you prepare earlier, that's important. So I love that, David. Tina, how about you? Well, I learned today, actually, something I've always been thinking about is efficiency. And I love how all these businesses and sponsors, sponsors all, all they want to do is make dentists more efficient with their time. We already don't have a lot of time. So making it where we're saving time and our, we're saving money, that's really, really key. So I, I love that. And that, yeah, you don't, and you, when you have time as a dentist, I mean, I was at my office yesterday. I go on Mondays and Tuesdays. It's, it's a very intense experience to be a practicing dentist. So when you're not practicing, you want to have your time, whether it's with your family, whether it's to sit in a room quietly by yourself, right? If you, if you go say, I want to sit in a room quietly by myself, people say, you want to leave us? Just tell them you're meditating. That's what I'm doing over there. I'm meditating with my phone, but you're right, Tina, you're doing what we're doing. And when you want to be more efficient, save more money, get to your places earlier in life to be able to make decisions on your own term. That's so key. Alan, how about you? I think the key thing to remember is that uh, you're bringing a group of professionals together to share their experiences and what they do. And uh, the thought that comes to mind is that uh, everybody needs to, as Warren Buffett says, stay in your circle of competence yeah, like let the that. professionals do what they do rely upon them that'll save you the time you don't need to learn every aspect of of billing and purchasing you need to rely upon experts it's a great thing that you're introducing experts that you found that you trust to the dental community so that they can save time and rely on these people to do what they do best and, and that's such a great key point and since i have my uh, anno uh colleague of annoyance teen on here with me, dentists will often try to DIY things, even though it makes them crazy to see DIY dentistry. They say, I will do my own Facebook ads, or I will look at the stock market myself. And what I tell people is you could do some of that as a hobby, but if you were training for a marathon that determined your financial future, hire a coach that does marathon training, right? And that's dentist problem. If you want to get involved, I'm sure you, Alan, you know, when I do marketing, I just say, do your Facebook thingy, right? And sometimes I don't really get that invested. And maybe the, you know, the Jamie or the Shane who works with me, they want me to be more invested, right? But I'm sure you have those clients, uh, Alan. I want to know what we're doing or here's just my money to do what you do. But either way, you don't want to rely on your DIY self. It's or, like our patients. We tell them, don't DIY your own dentistry. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, you know, when they say my wife bought me a mouth guard from home, like, it's not going to work, right? Like, you know, so I, I realized that being, in, if you want to be invested in the process, whether it's your membership club, whether it's your investing, but rely on experts who's doing this every day. That's a really great point, Alan. Tom, we'll finish up with you. Yeah, so I, I think that the theme of all of this is, is really investing in your future. Just like you said, that people want to do it themselves, DIY. I think that it's really kind of the building blocks of, of basically um, allowing yourself 
to succeed as a future you, right? You're getting call for us because you want to make, you want to have those calls automated you are, and you want to have someone doing that and schedule more appointments. You're getting local med dental cell to, to get more appointments online when it's, whether you're not even open or not. Um, you want to have the little light on your, on your uh, loops that you could adjust right then and there. You want to make it more efficient, more easy for yourself, but you're basically investing, even just like Alan, you're investing your money into your future. And I think that that's something that people kind of kind of miss. Oh, I'm just going to keep on doing it the old way. Well, to keep on doing it the old way, you're, you're never going to make a change. You're never going to kind of increase. Take these small incremental steps, get some of these things, these building blocks of success, and then you'll start seeing returns on those. Uh, maybe not in, in a month, but a few months down the road, a year down the road, you'll start seeing those returns. I love that. You know, uh, a little bit better makes a lot better dense in life. I appreciate you guys contributing to our awesome business and leadership toppings, volume six. Anybody who's watching, you can learn about any of these awesome toppings by reaching out to us at dentalnachos.com. You can text salsa to 215-543-6454. Email salsa at dentalnachos.com. If you want to be on an interview show like this, you can also email us at salsa at dentalnachos.com. Thanks so much, guys. You guys can end your video. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Man, I'm just going to play one video for the end here, and then we'll be all set. Everybody watching in, thanks for hanging with us. We really appreciate it. All right, I'm just going to leave this up for a second. This is how you get in contact with us, guys, and have a great rest of the day.